Hi, hello, welcome to VHL Basics. Today we are going to see about uh, two dimensional array in Verilog HTL. For that, I am taking an example of uh, synchronous FIFO. Synchronous FIFO is nothing but uh, read and write operation will have the same clock. A synchronous FIFO in the sense read and write operation will have separate clock for each, uh, which means write lock and read clock. In this particular example, I am taking a data width of 8, FIFO depth as 8, and address width as, uh, width as 3. What is the relationship between FIFO depth and address width? So, how many bits required to represent the FIFO depth? So, that is nothing, that is called uh, FIFO, uh, sorry, address width. So, these three parameters I am declaring as a constant. So, in this particular uh, synchronous FIFO, whenever you are going to instantiate it you can change the data width you can change the depth and you uh, as well as the address width of the read and write point uh, right uh, pointer with respect to the fifo depth okay coming to the ports in the synchronous fifo clocks reset write enable read enable and data in are the input ports of the synchronous fifo empty full read valid data out are the outputs so what is the uh, use of the empty empty is nothing but uh, when the fifo is empty you should not read the data from the fifo when fifo is full you should not write the data into the uh, fifo that is the purpose of empty and full you need to monitor this uh, full and empty before writing and reading the uh, um, data into the FIFO and how to declare the memory component if you see the line number 12 there uh, I am declaring the two dimensional uh, memory element the variable mem right side of that mem indicates the depth of the memory right, left side of that mem indicates the data width of the memory so this is how we need to declare the two dimensional array now we need to have two separate always block one for write operation another one for read operation in the the first always block is representing the write operation in the FIFO when reset is asserted we need to initialize the write pointer uh, 0 and as, as well as we need to initialize the memory uh, all the memory bits as a zero and then we need to check whether the FIFO is full or not if FIFO is not full then we need to check the write enable if the both the condition are satisfied we uh, the data in will be written into the memory and then we need to increase uh, increment the write pointer then next write enable comes now we need to check the full if the FIFO is not full, again we need to write the data into the second location. And then again we need to increase the write pointer. In this particular, uh, this is how the um, write operation works in the FIFO. Coming to the read uh, always block. The second always block represents the read always block. Here, uh, whenever reset is asserted, we need to uh, initialize the read pointer as well as the uh, uh, read valid as well as the data out here uh, else if condition we need to check the uh, whether uh, FIFO is empty or not if FIFO is empty then we should not read the data from the memory if FIFO is not empty and then if uh, we received the read enable then we will read the data from the memory and that is that is assigned to the data out and then we need to set the um read valid to indicate that this is the valid data and also we need to increment the read pointer so you can't read the same data a same location for uh, one or more times actually only one time we can able to read it that's it that is the concept of fifo if fifo is empty or else read enable is not received then we need to DS at the read valid 
and then uh, we need to set the default value for the data output that is what I am setting in the else uh, statement so how to identify whether FIFO is empty or not so line number 39 indicates how to uh, check the FIFO is empty or not so if read pointer minus write pointer equal to 0 then FIFO is empty so I need to set uh, set the empty flag if that uh, else then we need to uh, deassert the empty which means the empty flag set to 0 in the case of full we need to we need to check read pointer right minus right pointer is equal to FIFO depth if that is satisfied then FIFO is full hence FIFO is not full so if read pointer minus right pointer equal to FIFO depth then we need to assert the full flag else we need to decide to the full flag I have simulated this particular example so this is the simulated waveform so initially the reset is asserted so when reset is asserted uh, empty flag is going high since there uh, there is no doubt no data in the memory FIFO memory actually so once uh, uh, the reset is uh, deasserted and then uh, write enable is going high with uh, valid data in actually uh, after the first write write uh, so empty is going low if you see here uh, continuously I am writing uh, 8 data so our depth is 8 right so if you see here uh, full flag is going high full, full flag is asserted right so uh, after some time uh, I am uh, reading the data from the uh, um, FIFO so read enable I am giving high if you see uh, so uh, with uh, read valid data out is coming so whatever the data we write uh, first right that is coming uh, in the D out so this is called uh, first in first out which is nothing but FIFO okay so after uh, some read uh, after the first read uh, the empty uh, sorry full is uh, going low okay after some time I am I am reading four data if you see here after some time I am writing another four data if you so which means FIFO is full so here if you see the last data when I write uh, it is uh, FIFO full is going high again I am started reading from the uh, memory for the eight times so all the eight data I have read uh, read back uh, from the FIFO which means FIFO is empty so here empty flag also going high so this is the memory element uh, which we used for uh, this particular example so first write uh, so it is writing into uh, location uh, 0 and then 1 up to 7 it is writing after uh, some read again it is uh, writing from the 0 so this is how it will work thanks for watching this video please subscribe and share it with your friends